I've been asked how you could put a circle in a square uh, so they could you can make some kind of like a speaker cabinet. And I did this in a previous video and I'm going to show you roughly how you could do it here. This is just one of uh, a few different ways you could do it. So I'm just going to rough out like a speaker cabinet here. Imagine that this is my speaker and from the front there we go i want to put two speakers in here all right so i'm going to go control r and i'm going to put down an edge loop right there and um let's try uh let's try this let's kind of control b and let's make that a bigger zone so that i can separate the top region from the bottom region that's what i want to essentially do okay so I'm gonna, I'm looking at the front right here. I'm gonna go Control R and I'm gonna put in two edge loops and I'm gonna scale these in the X out just arbitrarily a certain amount. And I'm gonna put two more edge loops right there. I'll scale those in the Z, make it nice and big. I'm gonna use this area in a minute. And I'm gonna put two more and I'll just leave them right there. One more in the middle, okay? Nope, I take it back, okay? I wanna make four squares right there. I've got two, one more right there and this one is actually okay where it is okay so i'm going to go into face selection and i'll select the uh i didn't go into face selection the squares that i want to use i'll show you what i'm talking about those four and these four okay they are going to make my um my speakers all right now uh i think i could actually make these bigger so i'm going to select these edges and scale in the axe I want to make bigger squares okay so i'm going to select this one and this one i'm going to scale those in the z and i still want to create a basically a box a square region made of four squares i think maybe i'll leave this one the same but i'll use the top one which will be larger like this two three four and the bottom one which will be smaller okay so here we go let's just deal with the top right there okay press i to inset pull it in a little ways and then right click choose loop tools which is an add-on that you probably already have installed if not you can go to user preferences and install it and choose circle now it may cross over the lines a bit so you may have to scale as to scale just make sure it's in those outer lines let's repeat that down here and then go i to inset but i'm going to pull in more because i want a smaller hole there but this is looking more like a rectangle than a square so let's scale it in the x just a little bit just make it really nice and square and then right click loop tools circle you can scale it up and down as long as you don't cross over let's have a nice small one there and a big one up top let's select all of those and let's hit e to extrude pull it back a little ways x delete faces okay back in object mode add modifier subdivision surface i'll go for two and i'll add a loop cut towards the front and towards the back and towards the top oops not there let's go above this other loop cut here right about there and one down near the bottom and you can experiment now we should also put loop cuts inside here let's close that off and go back in uh, i'm going to put in a loop cut or an edge loop down there and pull it towards the on the inside and it, you could have another one towards the outside as well it's up to you but let's do that and let's also put on uh, smooth shading you can put more edge loops in here if you want but that's basically how uh, you would uh, you could do it the one other thing you could do is you could come in here and go control r and you'll get another region that looks you know i'm going to click that looks like a circle uh, you can just pull it in to tighten things up you can also right um with with it uh, selected you can right click and choose loop tools and convert it into a circle and then pull it in and then it's like a circle uh of you know a loop tool circle uh that's reinforcing that uh, a little bit more if if that's necessary to you and so i would probably do that as well so i come in here and i go i want to reinforce this if i just pull it in like that it approximates a circle and that's fine as well all right so now you've got your holes and then you can put your speakers in so like i say that's just one way that you can uh, make a, a hole a circle a circular hole uh, when you've got a square like object hope that helps